Welcome back to Rhythm Heaven. It might look a little more Japanese than you used to, but this is Rhythm Heaven Fever. Mina no Rhythm Tengoku, as it's called. Uh, this version of the game has an exclusive minigame that is not featured in the NTSC or whatever. I actually always get... NTSC means, like, European and, and, and like, Western versions of the game, right? I think... Maybe it's back... Maybe I got that backwards. Uh, but it's called Manzai Birds. We're gonna play it. And I might also check out... Uh, Love Rap in... Uh, PAL is Europe. NTSC is North America. Uh, we are gonna check out Manzai Birds, and we're gonna play Love Rap in Japanese, just because I kind of wanted to do that. Although maybe I could do that in the Mega Mix stream, now that I really think of it. Uh, whatever, we might... we'll see. Uh, but I'm still stuck on one monitor, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but I think I can make it work. Uh, you guys should let me know if the volume is at a good level. I downloaded a completed save file, but turns out I actually could have just imported my save file from the English version. It's, it, like, works the same. But whatever. Here it is. The game's in Japanese. I need to snort. Okay. So, it is an endless game. Uh, this, this version of the game does not have Mr. Upbeat. Instead, the first one is the dumb alarm clock game. But we have Manzai Birds, which Manzai is a... I looked this up. I didn't know anything about this before this. Uh, but Manzai is a form of Japanese comedy that is performed by a duo that has... It's basically... It, it's a straight man and a big dummy who tells, like, Japanese puns. So the little bird is the straight man and the big guy is the pun guy. And this game did not get brought over to the English version of the game because they thought it was untranslatable. Because a lot of the puns in Japanese are uh, really difficult to bring over to English because they depend on specific phrasing in Japanese uh, that would make no sense in English. Uh, let me snort again. Sorry, boys. Uh, and, and yeah, everybody says, just come up with new jokes, just make new jokes, but that's a lot of work. That is a ton of work for a translating team, uh, and they already do so much for translating. I don't know. I think it's honestly fair, and it's also just the fact that, like, I don't know, I think a lot of English audiences would have been like, what the fuck is Manzai? Although we also have a mochi pounding minigame in here, so whatever. I need to blow my nose. I'm so sorry. So I have seen this game, uh, I've seen it played before, oh yeah, this is the high score of the guy who gave me the save file. I don't think I'll be able to beat it. I have seen this minigame before, so it's not going to be like, whoa, I'm experiencing it for the first time. It will be like that for Endless Remix though, which we're also going to do today. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to understand what they're saying here, of course, but basically when he tells a successful pun, I need to hit A twice, and if he... Sometimes he'll tell a pun and go BONG! For whatever reason, he'll just like freak out, and when that happens, I need to slap him by hitting A and B. They look so good. Oh, shit. And, like, I think my guy is just saying, yes, yes. Okay. And then that... Donayanen, I think, means that doesn't even make sense, or what are you saying, or something like that. And yeah, it's when he repeats a pun, 
Maybe it's like the buying is supposed to be like him realizing he already said this joke before. So there's the audience. It's got a great song too. And it speeds up over time. I love the little audience. I love his voice. He's spitting facts. There's like a little bit of a pattern. Maybe it'll throw me off though at a certain point. I love their faces when they scoot to the side, too. Laugh, everybody. Like you understand. Oh. Oh. Those are like barelies. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, okay, it's looping. It's it's throwing me for a loop. They japed me by not having any boings at all. Oh, it's nerve wracking. Oh, I fucked up. I just mistimed the hoi hoi. Nice, that was, that was a pretty good first attempt. That is the first time I've played that, by the way. Uh, but I have heard it. I've, like, seen it played a lot of times. <laughs> they died. They get dropped off the stage. Okay, let's try it a couple more times. I kind of doubt I'm even going to get to that high score again, though. I have no need to play this, like, a bunch of times. I just kind of wanted to show it. Because I'm so fucking obsessed with this game that... I need to do all the content, even the, like, region-locked content. Oh, 
I think it's the same pattern every single time, too. Like, it's not randomized. I think. Oh, I just fucked up. I was expecting a boing. God damn it. Also, thinking about like the idea of just writing new jokes, it's the translation issue that I was talking about last stream with uh, in Isaac, uh, where they would need to like lip sync because he actually said like his voice. His mouth actually mouths out the uh, the jokes that he's telling, so they would either need to reanimate it, or they would need to, uh... and they need to translate it into a bunch of different versions. Like there's a Korean version of the game, too. So like, it's just a lot of extra work to be able to like either reanimate it or make new jokes that make a certain amount of sense and also line up with the the, the lip sync. Okay, let's do like one more. It's great, but there's that's this is really all there is to it. And go to the rhythm. Man, I wish I knew Japanese. There's, I think, one piece of media that I've ever seen that had, like, manzai comedy in it before. And that's Takeshi's Castle, the, like, sketchy Japanese wipeout game show. Uh, which I, of course, watched MXC, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge, which is the, like, Vice TV dubbing of that show, where they just completely recontextualized it and made a bunch of, like, filthy jokes and stuff in the English dub. It's a really weird piece of media, MXC, but really, I, I, I thought it was really funny. Maybe it's juvenile now to go back and listen to it, but uh, Vic Romano and Kenny Blankenship, who are actually Takeshi Kitano and some guy whose name I don't know, they were performing a Manzai-type routine. <clears throat> and I remember Vic Romano would always, like, take out a paper fan and, like, smack... Uh, Kenny Blankenship on the head with like a with the paper fan when he said something stupid, which I think is Monzai. I don't know if he told puns in the Japanese version. Oh, I did it too early. Fuck. Okay, one more, and then that's the final one. That's the last one I'm gonna do. Oh yeah. Get yourself a homie that would say hi hi to your jokes. Ram if I input here, nothing. Oh, 
手に大抵なおっはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはい。My first run was like amazing, and then the rest of them. <laughs>、uh. Does anyone know where I can find the translations of the jokes? I I'm sure if you Google it, I, I remember looking it up, but if you look at the list of them, and, and I'm seeing some people posting in chat the, like, the ones that you find in like, the YouTube comments of like, that one video of Manzai Birds on YouTube, I think those are just different jokes. I could be wrong, but I think those are just different jokes. Like, the actual ones really truly make no sense in English. Let's, let's look it up, because I'm interested. Yeah, Kosuke's lines. I guess the big bird is named Kosuke. The other one, what's the other one? Kasuke and Kosuke. That's funny. And their group is called Otorizu. Which maybe is another pun, I don't know.、Uh, so, futon, futon ga futon da is the futon was blown off. Mikan ga mikanai is I can't find the orange. Okane wa okane is money is scary. So, it's just words that sound similar used in the sentence together.、Uh, ame, ame te ame is rain is sweet. Rakuda wa, wa Rakuda is camels feel easy. So they really, like, as you can see, they don't translate at all. Like, they, they're just complete fucking nonsense in English.、Uh, so they should have let them as is. I mean, that, even that would have had its own issues, but that would have been funny.、Uh, so as, that's just to give you an idea of how poorly those translate. And I think. I am not actually going to do love rap here in Japanese、uh, because I can just do that in、uh, Mega Mix. So we'll, we'll just do that then. We'll just keep this to Manzai Birds and、uh, Endless Remix, which is what we're going to do now. I'm going to do that in English. And Endless Remix is like the one thing that I have really not been spoiled on. I, I gotta come clean. Uh, in order to unlock Endless Remix, you need to get all the perfects. And I did not get all the perfects. Ages ago, I ground to get the、uh, all but one of the perfects. And then it took me ages, ages of struggling on Remix 10. And I never got it. Never got the perfect on Remix 10. So I just straight up gave up. I still have the save file where I have only Remix 10 to do. Maybe at some point, if I am astronomically bored, I will give more attempts to it. But I just tried so many times and it kept fucking up.、Uh, and there was one time I like fucked up on the last like packing pest segment. Not like one of the fake outs, but like when it switched to packing pest at the very end, I like fucked up and I was like, fuck this. It did a lot of emotional damage to me.、Uh, hold on. Why is the game not showing? Come on, Dolphin. Oh, yeah, come on. I know you can do it, Dolphin. Just,、uh, just go ahead and. Just, just go ahead and. Just go ahead and capture the window. There you go.、Uh, so, I downloaded a fully completed save file. You may call me a pussy, because I am. I did not actually get all the perfects. Most of the perfects in this game were actually shockingly easy to,、uh, <clears throat> to get perfects on. Some of the remixes were kind of tricky. 
Uh, even like Remix 8 and 9, which I thought were going to be really hard, ended up being relatively easy. Remix 2 was one of the harder perfects. Uh, then... What were some other hard ones? Uh, Samurai Slice was weirdly difficult. I had a lot of trouble with that one. Um, let's see. Love Rap 2 kicked my ass. That was like probably the hardest one besides Remix 10. And, oh yeah, Packing Pests 2 was really difficult. The rest of them were really not that bad. And it's very satisfying to grind for perfects in this game. Uh, because, like I said, that can be shockingly easy once you get the hang of and memorize some of the minigames. So... The final unlock for doing all the perfects is Endless Remix. I have not played this. I don't even really know how it works. I mean, I can only assume that it is just an endless game that just remixes minigames over and over. I've been really excited to try it out. Uh, and apparently... There are extra minigames in Endless Remix that don't appear anywhere else in the game. And I know what they are called, but I've never actually seen them played. I've seen one of them played in, like, a custom remix. Uh, but I think there's three that, uh, that they'll just throw at me without tutorials, so I'll probably instantly fail, but we'll see. I really don't know much about this. I'm excited to check it out. Oh god, this is one of the new ones straight away. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep, don't know how to play that one. This one's just called Basketball Girls. Okay. Is it always gonna start on that one? Okay. Go. Ta. Go. Ta. I- what? I hit A. Is it A and B? Oh god, is this gonna be miserable? Here. I can mess around with the controls. It's- it is A and B. <laughs> oh, good god. Is it gonna be only... The new ones? Because this is the one that I've seen. This is Frog Princess. And I think there's one other. What the fuck? I thought it was going to be, like, randomized. It's a set order. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is hard. <clears throat> no tutorial really fucks me up. I like the poop has a smiley face. What the fuck? What, what, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Is it like A and B for all of them, maybe? Usually the default is just A. A does nothing here, seemingly. What the fuck? God, this is hard. I almost kind of just want to look up how to fucking do these. This is bullshit. No. God damn it. I, I think I can feel how that one works. Cha. Yeah, no practice on the new minigames is fucking rough. <laughs> Fuck! I, I keep jumping the gun there. God damn it!
Oh. Three, two, one. What? I don't reach. Do I have to do A and B for like all of them? God damn it. That's the other new one, Chameleon. I knew all their names because I saw them in Rem Rhythm Heaven Remix Editor. That one at least had a count in. right on beat. That is so similar to tongue lashing. Like, even the look of the tongue is similar. Interesting. And you could say, like, Basketball Girls is kind of similar to, uh, Fruit Basket, but not really. It's just got basketball. Oh, God. I see. this time. like a weird threw me off so apparently after the start of munchy monk is when it gets random i see really interesting and i'm gonna say <clears throat> i didn't put together that endless remix just means a remix of endless games specifically so you gotta wonder if the japanese version has manzai birds i'm pretty sure it would have Monzai Birds in it, because this one has Mr. Upbeat. <clears throat> but, like, is Lady Cupid in this one? We'll see. Maybe I just got unlucky. <clears throat> but very interesting, very fun and cool. I kind of thought that it was going to be... that it was going to take, like, any minigame from... from any, uh... part of the game, not just endless games. Try again.
Oh, they really schmixed up on me there. I love the facial expressions of the basketball girls. They're so, like, stern. These are cool. This is all you get, and I think Mr. Upbeat was actually extended from the Endless Remix. Oh, so, like, the Japanese version has Mr. Upbeat in it. Weird. Damn. Uh, somebody said, what is the repainted version of this look like? We will check. I wonder if it is repainted. It probably is. So it's for the far away one, you hit A and B, and for the close up one, you hit just A. Also, it definitely looks like the frog princess is humping a frog. There's something, there's something a little sus going on there. God damn it, what, what did I do wrong? Was I like a little early there? Jesus Christ. Okay, I know there's probably no reason to try this. I know people said that it wouldn't work, but I, I just want to check and see if Mr. Upbeat is in the Japanese version. Um, let me just... Get this to capture... Just for kicks. And, and maybe there'll be Japanese voice lines. At the very least. That's the same frog as when you mess up in tambourine. I mean, it's it's a frog, yeah. Maybe it's like, you know, the drawing of it is exactly the same, we'll see. I, I don't know. Oi. Oh, <laughs> 
Still, uh, I want to fuck around with this basketball girls one because what I've been doing is letting go because hoi hoi catch it, it's like catch and throw and but sometimes it feels like if I just hold down a and b it just automatically makes the throw for me so I just want to try it here yeah it does I don't need to It's like it only fucks up if you let go too early. Damn it. That one always fucks me up. Because sometimes the basketball doesn't actually go into the hoop, is all. It's kind of annoying that we have to do this beginning part every time. I mean, do, do I just not even have to hold it at all? It just bounces off the hoop because I caught it at the wrong time? That could be it. Let me try. I'll do this a couple more times, and then we'll do the English version a couple more times. And then I'll leave, I think. Tricky those Monzai bird segments. I mean, I'm clearly not going to beat these uh, these high scores. These high scores are kind of insane. Uh, actually, I mean, it doesn't seem unattainable, but I would need to grind away at this for quite a while to get that. No Lady Cupid. Weirdly enough, in both of them, I guess it just wouldn't fit for whatever reason. But we've not seen it at all. Uh, okay, well that's interesting. The Japanese version does indeed have Monzai birds in it. Cool. So now we're going to do the English version a couple more times, and then I'm going to fuck off. And this officially, I, I feel so good, because this officially means I've seen all the content of this game and can no longer be spoiled on Rhythm Evan Fever stuff, because I've kind of been avoiding <clears throat> like custom remixes that have like Frog Princess on the thumbnail and stuff like that, because a couple of them do. Uh... 
And now I can use these in custom remixes to be a huge fucking hipster. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Fuck, fuck. That is not, no, that, no, wrong. Incorrect. Here we go. Uh, okay. I wonder if any of these were originally meant to be real. Three, two, one. Like two, normal. Faster. It's getting faster. Ah! Alright, that's a new record. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. But, as I remembered while I was playing that, uh, we need to check it in the repainted version. Which I assume will have some unique stuff. Uh, and also, when you get a basket in Basketball Girls, it does the okay of, uh... Actually... Is it a Philbots okay, or is it a Screwbots okay? Hard to, hard to tell. I would assume it's a Screwbots one, but it might be a Philbots one. We'll see. Not we'll see. I, maybe someone will confirm in chat. Because in Screwbots, they say, Let's go! And like, Oh, yeah! Whereas in Philbots, they say, Okay! So it must be Philbots. Uh, so let's, let's try it in the repainted version, because I'm curious. I wonder if it will capture. Flow, show. Come on, dolphin. It's like whenever I put in a different, a slightly different ROM, it like changes. Okay. 
Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> okay. Now. And there is no repainted version of the Japanese version of the game, so repainted Monzai Birds just doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure. Oh shit! Is that a Carl Pilkington ball? Holy shit. Nice shot! <laughs> Should've known. Chef Boy RD. Oh my god. Sakurai. Jesus fucking Christ, that one's cursed. Ooh. How come whenever we're in out of space, we don't gotta wear helmets? Good question, Chief. The answer is quite interesting. <laughs> no. 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 What does it say when I barely? I see birds. Three, two, one. Okay, I It's the pie song. Says for fuck's sake when you mess up. Oh. 
That was just barely over my last high score. Okay, that's enough of that. I remember hearing, too, that, and, and I'll never stream this particular one. Maybe there are, like, ways to bring it back through modding. There probably are. But there's a, uh... There's a couple of, like, beta minigames. There's one about, like, baton passing. But it doesn't... It's not even, like, functional. It's just, like, a weird barely functional not even functional barely existing demo uh in the game files that i'll probably never stream but th this this covers it this pretty comprehensively covers all over the mevin fever's side content uh i'm happy i'm happy with how this turned out and endless remix is fun the fact that it's not just like i thought it would be a little cooler than that in the sense that it would be like taking from all the mini games but uh, instead it's just all the endless games and it doesn't even use Lady Cupid, which is very strange to me. Either that, maybe it does use Lady Cupid and we just got extraordinarily unlucky, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, but yeah, that's all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief stream under an hour. Kind of unusual for me, but I thought I would just tack it on to the end of the Isaac stream. Uh, and next Rhythm Heaven thing that we will do is uh, the final Mega Mix stream where I will do Mega Mix mods and I will also download a 100% save file of Mega Mix so maybe we can play Love Rap Japanese there and fuck around with a few other things, do challenge train stuff. I'll attempt lockstep lockdown, but that'll probably be fucked on emulator. Uh, there's even a chance that I will use Bella's 3DS to record me playing some challenge train stuff but she wouldn't have it unlocked so maybe that wouldn't really no probably not gonna do that uh but we'll at least take a look at some of that stuff we'll do the wario the wario wear challenge train stuff uh plenty of fun to be had that might even end up being two different streams we'll see uh but that'll be the next rhythm heaven thing we also got more black mesa more katana zero on the horizon uh, if if my con condition continues to improve, that is. Uh, but yeah, what a great game. I mean, you guys can tell I love Rhythm Heaven Fever by how many different times I've had an excuse to stream it. Playing the main game, doing it with Lark, doing Repainted, doing this shit. Uh, maybe one day I will sit down and grind out Remix 10, but it was just too much of a pain in the ass. There were a ton of times where I had a good attempt at Remix 10, and then the emulator, like, skipped a little bit, and it fucked me up. I know that's, like, the ultimate Johns, but it, that, it really happened a few times. That was one of the things that was so discouraging about it. And just the fact that, like, the hardest part of it, which is, to me, love rap, which I just continually fucked up, like, no matter how... Like, it, it's just, it just feels more precise than other minigames. It, it, it just... It's, like, 75% of the way through Remix 10. So it made it such a time sink. And, like, the fact that... When you're going for a perfect attempt on Remix 10, you can't... It's not like other grindy things in video games where you can, like, listen to a podcast while you're doing it. No, it requires, like, 100% of your attention. So, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, cool game. Cool fucking game. One of my favorite games of all time, certainly. Uh, and would recommend it to anyone. Great entry point for the series. Uh, Monzai Birds was fun, too. Kind of, I, I kind of get why they didn't translate it over. It's a bit of a shame that they never did, but I get it. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Maybe not a stream super soon, because I'm still sort of clearing up my stuffy nose. But uh, if I would give you guys something after a week of not streaming, uh, let's go raid somebody. Oh yeah, and sometime in the future, I will do blindfolded attempts at like certain Rhythm Heaven games. I don't know if I'll do that anytime soon. And I'll do that with all the Rhythm Heaven games, so I'll have to, like, do a setup for that. And I know people will say, oh, that's super easy, but there are certain minigames where it's going to be really hard. Where you do, in fact, need visual cues. Uh, so, and, like, remixes and stuff. Is anybody streaming? No. Nobody that I follow is streaming. Let's go raid some fucking ducks. Dash ducks. Slash raid dash ducks. Go feed some lovely cute ducks with your bits, chat. And thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with the, uh, the, the, the tech issues of this stream. See you later.